<clears throat> What's up, everybody? If you could like the live when you come in, I would greatly appreciate it. I greatly appreciate it, okay? Oh, yeah. Hey, how are you today? Lord, I'm gonna tell you. Hey, everybody. This, this message is hardcore. Thank you so much for the gift. I appreciate you. This message is so hardcore, okay? So, I'm picking up on a woman. Now, I don't know if this is like a, um... Thank you, I appreciate that. I don't know if this is like a family member or an ex-friend or who this is. Maybe somebody else's ex that you dated. But this woman... This woman has really gotten herself in deep attacking you is what I'm hearing, okay? Um, she could have tried... She's, like, wanting to run, but I feel like she's sick either with, like, some type of STD or some type of, like, terminal illness. Um, and she is paranoid as fuck is what I'm picking up, okay? Like, she's paranoid. Like, I see somebody looking out the blinds. I see this woman pacing back and forth. Like, she's freaking out because she knows that her time is coming. Um, something about, like, police activity. Um, she could have just realized that she was getting, like, monitored or followed is what I'm hearing. And, um, this woman wants to run is what I'm hearing. Thank you, spirit. Wants to run is what I'm hearing. But by the time, by the time this woman, like by the time all this shit goes down, I'm hearing like fed energy or like cop energy. Someone coming to pick this woman up. STD. <laughs> um, by the time this person needs to run or tries to run, they're going to be too sick to run. I'm hearing, like, disabled. So it's like this person's being, like, disabled by their own illnesses in spirit is what I'm hearing. Yeah, for trying to stop and block you. That's crazy. Okay, like, this woman knows that because you have blocked out her negativity, because you've escaped all the traps that she has tried to put you in, she couldn't get evidence on you. She could have had, like, a deal I'm hearing something about a deal with some type of investigator. This person could have, like, uh, put a whole false case on you. But it's like they had a certain amount of time to get this evidence. They couldn't get this evidence. And now I feel like this person is flipping the fuck out. Like, they are so upset because they know damn well that they're going to jail. Like, this person could have also tried to call uh, child services on somebody. This didn't work. Or um, I'm hearing they either showed up and went away or they never showed up okay is what I'm hearing this person has been attacking you in the spirit and they've also been being warned by spirit to quit doing magic on you you're too powerful whoever you are you're of the light damn and this person like full-fledged knew that there was going to be bad karma for doing this but they didn't care because it was all about the money for them I'm hearing like some type of financial gain or they could have like gotten a shorter shorter sentence for something they were going to do as well thank you guys for the gift if I'm not seeing them yeah it's like they were they were gonna get like a shorter a shorter sentence for a charge that they got or maybe this charge was gonna go away if they were able to like implicate you in whatever this crime is it was all about this money for this person and now look at this this person is being like forced I'm hearing taken away in handcuffs the fight is over the fight is over like this person is of the darkness this is like a straight up demon in the flesh is what I'm hearing but this woman what I'm hearing is like she refused to listen to spirit she refused to listen to good guidance um she could have been working very closely with a group of people to try to take you down um and I feel like she was reporting back to somebody as well this could have been like a masculine energy that this woman was reporting back to because they were trying to scare you uh this was all a game to these people they were trying to trap you I'm hearing knock you off the board this could also be like a woman if you're a female, this could also be a woman who tried to impersonate you, but she couldn't impersonate you. Like, she might dress like you, act like you, talk like you. I'm seeing, like, a woman... One of these women has, like, fire engine red hair, and... <laughs> Her face looks like, like, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, she looks like Big Bird to me, okay? Like, she looks like Big Bird to me, like her face, okay? But she has, like, fire engine red hair. I'm also seeing, like, a thicker African-American woman. Like, she she's... 
I don't want to say fat, but she's very thick, okay, and she likes to wear, okay, so see how my hair is kind of like waved like this, but she wears like a wig or something like that, okay, so it's like her hair is literally like mine is what I'm hearing, okay, but this person was trying to like completely take you down, take you out of your spot so that they could step into whatever position you're in, this person wanted your spotlight, I'm also hearing blonde hair and green eyes. So there's a woman that has blonde hair and green eyes as well for somebody. I don't know who that's for or like blonde hair and blue eyes. I'm seeing like light eyes and like blonde hair here. But it's like this person um, is receiving karma because they've been doing this to you for a long time. For some of you, this could have started around um, this could have started around like November or like later on in the year. Whenever this started, I'm hearing like a couple years years for somebody this could have started but I feel like they they I, I'm getting that energy again where it's like um this woman definitely likes to do spell work her favorite time of year is like Halloween as well I feel like this person is definitely fake flexing okay this person's like fake flexing they're losing all their money I'm hearing they were also promised like money to try to take you down or get this evidence on you um to try to send somebody in to make an offer to you but this didn't work whatever this was and it's like now this person knows like they're overstressed this person's like freaking out i'm telling you i'm literally seeing this person like looking out the blinds like looking out the window um like every time they hear a noise they're like hiding behind something or like in a closet or something like that like this person's very jumpy but they're losing their strength like their physical actual strength is what i'm hearing it's almost like this person is about to be laid out to the point where, like, they can't move. Um, somebody could be going in and out of the hospital, this woman, okay? Someone could be going, like, in and out of the hospital because um, with that white, I'm definitely picking up, like, hospital, hospital bed vibes, okay? Hold on, you guys. Sorry. I'm also hearing, like, something about Florida. Florida could be significant here. So could, like, California, Kansas, Idaho, Oregon, Washington. Okay, so, so that could definitely be significant. But it's like this person is so weak in the physical that they're, like, not able to stalk you in the spirit anymore. Thank you. I appreciate you, Monique. It's like this person is so fucking weak. Like they're depleting. And this person can't block you from the things coming into your life anymore. I keep hearing you should have listened. I tried to warn you. I tried to warn you. It's like this person is looking for some type of guidance. Um, maybe from their ancestors. But their ancestors are like rejecting any contact with them. It's almost like I'm getting like a group of people going to like a club or something like that and it's like their friends group damn that's crazy thank you spirit and um their friends group is like i can't be seen with you bro like that's what their ancestors are doing they're like you know what i can't be seen with you because you chose the loser's path is what i'm hearing like you're gonna lose this battle so it's like this person's ancestors are completely silent like their ancestors know what's going on but they don't know what's going on and it's like I'm almost seeing like their ancestors have their hand over their mouth. It's like they could not tell this woman what's going to happen to her if they wanted to. And I feel like she's not going to be able to come back from this. I'm hearing something about like somebody's going to end up being really sick in prison. And what's going to happen is because of how nasty and horrible she was to you or to other people. Because I feel like you're not the only person she's done this to. Um, what's going to happen is like the prison guard she's like i'm hearing i need my medicine i need my medicine they're like cool you can fucking wait just like everybody else like you're not special it's like one of those type of situations okay and it's like how this person thought it was funny to like harass you stalk you and block you um they're not laughing as much anymore because now they feel like their ass is on the line it's not so funny when shit's happening to you and you can't do anything about it but see that there's a difference 
this person caused all this chaos in your life. Like, you didn't cause this. This person just straight up did this shit to you out of absolute, like, malice and envy. Maybe because of, like, um, your skill set. Maybe because of, like, your beauty or your handsomeness. Maybe because of, like, the amount of money that you made or, like, the job that you have or the job that you're supposed to have. But, like, this woman, she doesn't realize that, like, every single fucking thing that she wished on you, that she sent on on you is coming right back to her it's like even if she wished something on you that was horrible and it didn't touch you oh my god like it's coming back on her and i'm hearing like her spiritual eyes are being poked clean out of her head it's like she can't see in the spirit like she cannot um watch you or stalk you in the spirit and i feel like that was the only way she was able to do this okay it's like i said nowhere to run nowhere to hide that is so fucking crazy it's like this person's pissed off, still focused on you that they can't stop your creativity, not even realizing that, like, trying to stop you is doing nothing but, like, destroying this woman's life is what I'm hearing, okay? I feel like this is somebody who's definitely, like, a kiss ass. Like, this woman is thinking about coming in to, like, kiss your ass, um give you your flowers oh this person wants to give you your flowers now that you've defeated them but i feel like it's to um to escape some type of karma to escape some type of damn am i lights flickered confirmation it's like she doesn't want to um get hurt she doesn't want i'm hearing i don't want to die i'm not ready to die and the funny thing about this person is i'm definitely picking up that this is like such a negative person because what she what she does is like she goes around and i'm hearing like victim okay so a clue for somebody is this woman went around and she would always be like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die or I want to die or something like that, like talking about it. And it's like now this woman is sitting here like begging and pleading because she doesn't want to die. Like she's not going to be able to move forward. I'm telling you right now, she's going to be stuck right where she's at. And in the worst kind of way is what I'm hearing. Damn, look at thank you, spirit. And that card says stuck. It's like this person is going to be limited. Um, the only changes that are going to come to this person are absolutely horrible changes. And I feel like their money is like completely depleting as well. Like their bills are piling up. I feel like this woman is not going to be able to afford some type of like medical care. Um, I'm hearing Medicaid fraud or food stamp fraud. This person for somebody could get caught like selling their food stamps and they could like at the worst time possible for somebody is what I'm hearing. Um is what I'm hearing like this woman could get get caught like selling her food stamps by the the government or someone could report this woman and they're going to take her like Medicaid or some shit like that away she's not going to have any confirmation she's not going to have any benefits to be able to um get this care for herself and I feel like um like this woman is being burdened i'm hearing bombarded with burdens it's like she's being being bombarded with burdens because she was sitting here trying to destroy you is what i'm hearing like ruin your life destroy these um these positive vibes that you have and she's like angry and resentful trying to like hold this grudge and i feel like the more you ignore her like the more pissed she gets and she's also mad uh, for somebody she's mad because she lost a car like, she could have lost her car or got her car repoed or totaled her car, crashed her car, something like that. But I'm definitely hearing something about, like, someone not having a car right now because in some way, shape, or form, they lost this car is what I'm hearing, okay? It's like, this person's going to be so sick and so... um so just like fucked up i'm hearing bedridden this is this could be how this person wanted you to be too but i'm feeling like such a bedridden energy that whoever this is is like they don't have time to have their nose all up in your business or they won't have time i'm feeling like this is coming up real soon as well it's like this is definitely somebody that could have been in like uh for someone this is like an ex-friend of yours that you were really close to could have been like a cousin or a sister as well um but i'm definitely feeling like this is somebody here that you could have been very close to is what I'm hearing okay and now this person is falling it's like this is somebody that um you're definitely not trying to compete with this person but they are trying to compete with you is what I'm hearing and them trying to compete with you is going to be their downfall is what I'm hearing like yeah this person may want to like travel towards you and um apologize to you to get some type of favor from God but this person is not going to be able to travel towards you 
they're not going to be able to travel towards you. And this person knows that too. And they're freaking the fuck out right now because they're like, oh my God, I'm really going to have to pay my karma this time is what I'm hearing. And this person's not going to be able to stalk you anymore either because I feel like this person has like a sick obsession with watching you and stalking you. Um, dang, all my cards flew on the floor. Hold on, you guys. She apparently doesn't like when people talk about her, huh? But it's like, um, this woman has like a sick obsession with like stalking you or watching you is what I'm hearing. Okay. She could be on like fake accounts doing this as well is what I'm hearing. But, um, damn, I'm hearing like this person's going to be six feet under, like this person's literally going to lose their life. And I, oh man, I feel like for some of y'all, you're going to hear about this some way, shape or form as well. And you're going to be like, damn, yeah, look at that. Everything dying around this person. I'm telling you right now, this is freaking crazy. This is crazy. It's like, this is definitely somebody, thank you for the heart, that has like a bad reputation as well. Um, and they wanted everything that you had is what I'm hearing because whoever you are, you may have been meant to be a star or like meant to have a huge purpose here. And it's like this person was fantasizing and dreaming about taking you down, burning everything down in your life and being in your spot. This is definitely somebody from your past or somebody you don't associate with anymore from your past is what I'm hearing. Um, and this person, like I said, they are broke. They are broke right now. This person could be cyberbullying some of y'all as well. I feel like... Um, damn, that's crazy. Like I'm literally seeing this person get so sick. This is a cyber bully. It's like this person is getting so sick that I'm literally seeing them try to like type a message out to you or like bully you or say something. And this person's just so weak that it's like their, their hands are like this. I'm literally seeing her hands like this. It's like, she can't even hold her phone, bro. Like she can't even hold her phone to talk shit. Thank you, spirit. But you're going to be moving on. You could be moving as well as what I'm hearing. Yeah, for somebody, confirmation. This is definitely like a karmic friend of yours. Like this person isn't going to be able to start drama anymore. This is over and done with. And like I said, this person is going to have some legal issues to contend with. For someone, this is definitely somebody that's going to um, pass on from, I'm hearing, heart failure or, um, or HIV or both. I'm hearing something about kidney failure and liver failure. There could be somebody here with like a huge drinking problem. I'm hearing pills as well. Like I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing Norco or Percocet. Um, but I feel like this person, um, does a lot of different things as far as like drugs and alcohol go. Okay. Damn. That's crazy. That's cra That's crazy. I feel like this person caught a case of an STD, but they're going to catch a case as well, if you understand what I'm saying, okay? It's like they're catching multiple cases, and it ain't just freaking STDs, you feel me? But I feel like this person has already been exposed for who they are, okay? Like a money-grubbing piece of shit, and this person is definitely a divination abuser is what I'm hearing. You're already aware of this, and it's like you don't care because you know that you're not going to accept any dirty offers from this person or anybody else around them. I'm seeing clear liquor. Somebody drinks clear liquor. Like see-through clear liquor. Thank you guys for the gifts. I appreciate you. This woman is like... This woman's so weak. I just keep seeing her hands. It's like she's trying to talk shit to you. And she's like sitting there and she can't even grip her phone. That is freaking wild to me. Okay? That is freaking wild to me. Yeah, this person is it like they've been doing the same shit different day every day for so long. And now this person's going to have to give it up is what I'm hearing. This person is going to have to give it the fuck up. Yeah, it's like because they know damn well that they're not a threat to you anymore. Also, I feel like this person's going to be so depleted that they can't be a threat to you anymore. And this person isn't going to be able to steal from you anymore either. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? Like, this is crazy. Oh, my God. I'm hearing something about, like, this person could have... 
I'm hearing FBI. Like, so this person um, definitely could have, like, someone from the FBI listening to their conversations. I'm hearing, uh-oh, phone tap. So, like, this person's phone could be tapped as well. Um, maybe there was... I'm hearing something about for somebody, this is going to be for everybody, but it's like someone had your phone tapped and what actually happened was something you said um, either came to pass or made somebody be like, hold on, let me look into this. And when they looked into it, they found out you were telling the truth because whoever you are, you may be spiritual. You may be spiritual is what I'm hearing. And it's like they were seeing that this person was trying to constrict you and bind you is what I'm hearing. Okay, damn, that's crazy. For some of y'all, this is like an ex that had tried to have you in like some type of third party situation as well. Okay, but I'm telling you for, for somebody, it's definitely your friend here. But this person is like stressed the fuck out. They're sick and stressed is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing all their faces are falling as well. So it's like this person can't hold their fake face. I'm hearing their game face is burnt, bro. So it's like this person has a game face. So they're able to act like hella fake or like, um, like... They make people believe them is what I want to say, okay? This person's fake as fuck and like that fake ass persona, it's falling, bro. It is falling. I'm telling you. And somebody, I don't know who, like somebody here, one of these women, she's going to die from um, withdrawal is what I'm hearing. Something about not having enough money to support her habit or like nobody wanting to fuck with her anymore or be around her anymore or like her... Knowing that she's about to, I'm hearing something about knowing that she's about to get in trouble and trying to stop doing whatever she's doing. I'm hearing cold turkey so that um, she can save face or save her reputation is what I'm hearing. And like this woman is about to like literally mark her own death because I'm hearing whoever this is. Um, she consumes way too much of whatever this is, alcohol, drugs, to just cold turkey stop like that. And it's like, even though I'm hearing like, um, I'm hearing like those, those panels that you rub together and like, like an ambulance and they're going clear and like trying to revive this person, like none of this care is going to work. This person's going to pass for somebody. So for someone, they're going to die of an overdose. I've been picking up on that quite a lot in the last like year I want to say okay yeah it's like these this person has absolutely failed at trying to take you down like they were trying to take everything from you I'm hearing especially like your face card your credibility this person didn't want you to be credible because they wanted to create some type of natural disaster in your life but they took a risk doing this and now they're fighting to survive damn that's crazy like this person is fighting to survive Oh my lord, dude. It's like this person thought they were going to teach you a lesson, but little did they know that you were the lesson. Like you were walking karma for this person because they had done this to so many people before. You may not even know about this, but... um. But it's like they had done this to so many people before, sat back and laughed about it. And this person was able to get away with it is what I'm hearing. Um, so they thought they were going to celebrate. They thought they were going to take you down. They thought you were, you were going to be an easy target. I keep hearing that lately. And whoever you are, it's like while this person is completely depleting, while this person is completely depleting, you're over here sitting in this ease, this relaxation. I'm hearing something about, thank you for the gifts. I'm hearing something about like, uh, like someone, I don't know if this is like hoodoo, voodoo, if this person just calls on deities, could be both, but I'm hearing like something about Oshun, okay? Somebody could be like trying to call on Oshun or some shit like that. All of these deities that this person is calling on are coming right back to them and now they're going to be confined and not you is what I'm hearing okay like whoever you are you in their life um, them having your energy them destroying you depleting you this is all going to be a distant memory I've damn spirits dude my ancestors are cold because they said they said what memory because she gonna croak damn my ancestors are cold boo okay so like shout out to my ancestors for being cold as fuck point blank period this person could have stolen property from you as well for some of you but i feel like this person came up a up against a professional okay this person didn't know who the fuck they were coming up against and it's like even though if this makes sense, even though you may have been unawakened at the beginning of this, like, bro, your comeback was hard, bro. Like, you you went hard because life 
fucking easy. I'm going to tell you that shit right now. It's like this person thought that you were like a rookie or you were stupid or you were dumb or you were naive. But what ended up happening is when you woke up, it's almost like I'm seeing, you know how like you have to upgrade, 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 level up, level up. It's almost like when you woke up, it was just like, boom, everything came back to you is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this person tried to seal your fate. And in sealing, trying to seal your fate, they sealed their own. Your ancestors said no compromising with this person. This person has to go down because whoever they were, they were wishing bad on you. There's nothing you can do to save confirmation. There's nothing you can do to save this person is what I'm hearing. Because whoever this is, like this person was out here legitimately trying to take your spot is what I'm hearing, okay? Thank you. Thank you for the cash app. Sorry, I'm not fancy. I only got one phone, so I got to look on here. But thank you for the cash app, hun. Yeah, this person walked into this battle blindly. They thought that they had you blinded and, like, doing all this spell work. They thought that, like, you were going to stay blind to this. Like, you were never going to wake up to this. But, like, they didn't realize that God had a strategy for this woman. Oh, my God, dude. Like, God already knew where this person was going to move with this game. And God was like, okay, let me put this person in this position. Here, let me upgrade them at this time. And instead of giving them, like, two ascensions, I'm going to give them three all at once. Like, I'm seeing some crazy shit shit like like bro god was legit playing checkers while this person was playing chess right now i'm telling you right now and it's like he made sure that every single one of these plans failed that this woman had a, against you but at the same time he let her get away with multiple different things so that there you know because he knew she was going to put her foot so far up her ass it was going to stay lodged up there and no surgery no um no freaking tractor no lube no nothing was gonna pull her foot out of her ass and she has finally done it is what i heard she has finally done it like rest in freaking peaches is what i'm hearing all because she wanted to like kick, kick her feet up confirmation all because she wanted to kick her feet up all because she wanted to relax all because she wanted to take your money take your blessings and it's like now this person is getting nothing but bad news. It's freaking crazy. Like I'm also hearing, like I said, there's an investigator or somebody that has evidence on this person on how they were taking everything away from you is what I'm hearing. OK, like how they were trying to destroy your dynamic, didn't want you having a family or friends like we're putting other people up against you to bully you is what I'm hearing. But this whole collaboration of people, they are fucking falling down. They're falling down and like this woman's pissed because through all this trial and tribulation, she could not get you to give up. She could not get you to give up. Like you are the emperor. You are the empress. Like this person could not get you to stop and they could not get you to hate yourself. That was a serious goal for this person. Like this woman wanted you to hate yourself. They wanted you to give up on your dreams so that you couldn't accelerate is what I'm hearing so that you couldn't save money. Thank you guys for the gifts. I appreciate you. But now like this person is not okay. They are not okay because you are okay, if that makes any sense. And this person, like, they thought they were going to travel the fucking world. They thought they were going to do the damn thing. They thought they were going to be out here kicking it, living their fucking life. And, and now that's where you're going to be at while they're laying there. While they are literally laying there. I'm hearing whether it has to be in jail, in a gutter, or in a hospital bed. This person is completely freaked out. Okay, this woman is so scared to go to sleep it's not even fucking funny because it's like every time she goes to sleep she's being haunted by everything that she's done and um I feel like she's also haunted because she doesn't know what's coming next. She can't see what's in her future. I'm telling you right now, she's being blinded in this spirit. So it's like she's just being haunted by these deities. And before she knew what was coming next, now it's completely blocked. So that is her worst nightmare is knowing that there is karma coming for her, but not knowing how to block it is what I'm hearing. So now she's getting treated with the same respect you were treated with when she was attacking you, when she was harming you is what I'm hearing, okay? And she's not going to be able to bring conflict to you either. 
I feel like this woman could be trying to, like, bribe other people to, like, protest against you or come against you is what I'm hearing at this time because she's sick. But whoever this woman is, like, everybody's like, nah, nah, fuck you. Like, I'm not taking your bribe. I'm not taking your money. I'm not taking your drugs. Like, I don't want to be involved in this is what I'm hearing, bro. Holy shit. Because there's definitely people here that are starting to see their true colors and see your true colors. But I also feel like there is people that were more than willing to try to destroy you because they figured oh this person's kind they're nice they're naive like yeah we could totally like rip this person to shreds but little did they know little old you like you are fucking winning boo you are fucking winning right now i'm so excited for this reading okay like it's it's kind of dark but i like this i do like this okay it's like yeah now this woman's overloaded because she's literally sitting here and she's like oh my god like i can't take this person down how do i stop this person it's like this person is seeing like i'm seeing this paperwork as karma it's like a constant pile up of karma and they're like oh shit i can't reverse this this time i can't stop this this time now i'm actually gonna have to pay this karma this woman i'm telling you someone's sick as fuck they're like i'm too sick for this i'm too weak for this i'm too tired for this well guess what to whoever this woman is i'm gonna tell you right now like you were too sick you were too tired you were too exhausted you were too weak to deal with all the shit she was putting you through because not only was she doing black magic on you but she was sitting there fucking with you in the background stressing you out and so it's like this woman doesn't realize she's literally having to go through all the physical and mental things that you had to go through Ooh, i'm getting hot as hell and this woman can't hack it she cannot survive it like this is going to be a loss she's going to lose everything around her and then it's going to be her life after she loses everything around her she's going to lose her life but i'm telling you right now that's going to be literally after she watches you win baby because whoever you are like she's going to watch you be loved she's going to watch you have friends she's going to watch you be in a successful relationship she's going to watch you have money like, oh no, bitch, you, you thought you were just going to dip? You thought you were just going to fuck this person over and then and then you were just going to die like that? Oh no, no, boo. You're going to suffer first. You're going to suffer just like this person did while you watch them be fucking liberated. While you watch them be liberated from all that stupid hoodoo, voodoo, doo-doo, bullshit, spell work, ass crap that you did. Yeah, yeah, you're going to watch this person win, period. And you're not going to know what the fuck happened. You're not even going to know what the fuck happened by the time you're done. Now, this woman's being controlled by the same spirits that were controlling, that were, that she was trying to get to control you is what I'm hearing. And it's like, this person tried to control every aspect of your life. This is not, like, I just want to tell y'all, handlers are fake. The only people that get handled are karmics. That's some devil talk. Don't ever admit to or consent to, because you're consenting at that point. Don't say this person's my handler. This person don't control shit. The only thing that divine beings get handled by is God. The only thing that we go out and handle is our fucking business, our family, our happiness, our abundance, and our purpose. Point blank, period. So that whole bullshit of like a handler, drop that shit right now if you were the type of person that says that, period. Because I'm going to tell you right now, like this person is falling into every single trap. And I mean every single fucking trap that they have set for you, period. Like they wanted to rob you and all they did was rob their self of their whole future, their life, their blessings, everything. Because whoever you are, it's like you always get out of these traps right on time is what I'm hearing. It's like somebody will set something up for you and you either get like an inkling of like, no, I'm not trying to do that or no, I shouldn't go there or whatever. You always get out of this shit right in the nick of time and this person is pissed off because they were trying to stop you from reaching any goals in your life it's like they wanted you to sit there and think that all these lessons that you learned were for absolutely nothing and they wanted you to sit here and be pissed about it too thinking that justice was never going to come for you boo yes the fuck it is and you've got many a blessings many a gifts coming for you as well all these rituals are backfiring on this woman and this whole group Someone might actually get in a car accident as well is what I'm hearing, okay? Because they just won't fucking stop. That's somebody in this group, though. I don't feel like it's this woman, but I'm hearing something about, like, a car accident or somebody could get hit while they're on their bike or something like that. I feel like this is a gang stalker, somebody that this bitch recruited is what I'm hearing, okay? And like I said, this, this bitch is having freaking nightmares while you're over here having sweet dreams. This is freaking lovely, okay? Over here, cowered in a corner, scared as shit, not knowing what's going to happen next because they're not getting anything off of you. They can't get your energy, so they know that nothing good is coming for them. All these curses are going right back 
and nobody's going to be able to help them. I'm hearing not even the devil. Period. The devil's over here laughing at this person, saying, oh my god, this bitch really took it this far. This bitch was really dumb enough to take it this far. Like she thought she was going to accomplish this shit. Whoever this is, they're not going to persevere. Like I said, they're not ready for what's coming toward them. So it's like all they can do is stalk you and watch you for now. All they can do is stalk you, stalk you and watch you for now. Because I'm going to tell you right now, God works in mysterious ways. He's very creative. And this person is not even seeing what's going to come for them. I'm going to tell you right now. While you're over here being blessed... This person doesn't want to hear it either. They could be crying in confidence is what I'm hearing too. Crying in confidence because um, they want God's forgiveness. Um, they should have went to God a long time ago. They're still going to have to pay their karma. They think that God's forgiveness means that this person's going to get completely out of karma is what I'm hearing. That's just not the way it fucking works. Like this person's going to have to lose everything, repent, and then like grow from the bottom up. I'm hearing Drake started from the bottom. Now we here. Okay. Started from the bottom, now she right back fucking here. She's in a worse position than she was before she started messing with you. And you know what? Kimberly, go in your own readings with your fake ass and promote your readings because you're a fake and you're a fraud. Thank you. Get out of my freaking chat. If you, Like, I'm going to remind y'all, if you guys see anybody inbo trying to inbox you, inbox me this. Don't fucking, don't message those people. They're fake. Those are karmics freaking assholes gotta come in here and do that shit every time I do a reading promote your shit on your own reading girl you crusty as fuck <laughs> crusty as hell bro <clears throat> bro it's every time huh I'm telling you thank you guys so much for the gifts I appreciate you guys if I'm not saying it or seeing it at the time yeah looking hella crusty over there talking about oh let me give you a reading while she's all <sighs> looking hella crusty girl Better fix yourself. Thank you guys for the gifts. I appreciate you. Damn, it's like, yeah, this person doesn't even see that this whole situation is about to explode right in her face. It's like she wanted you stuck in this depression. Now, whoever this is, like, they're suicidal. Like, they want to go. They're ready because they can't even handle the drama that's coming toward them. But they don't realize that, like, well, they do realize this person has created this drama for their self, point blank, period. And it's like they didn't want anybody having any evidence of this, but I feel like the evidence is going to come out. The truth is going to come out is what I'm hearing. And it's like... Like, this person is sitting here constantly trying to fight you and you're like bitch I ain't fighting you I only fight for shit that I love that's what I'm hearing and now this person is falling the fuck apart if you guys want readings you can message me on here um, and I'll set one up for you they're $55 for readings okay and like I said like someone could have definitely been listening to this person I'm telling you, confirmation, thank you, Spirit, on that recorded phone call. Like, someone definitely could have been hearing them express how they wanted to take you uh, take you down. Or this person could have been revealing things that they were doing to you or did to you to somebody else. I'm hearing somebody who can't keep their mouth shut. This is a jabber jaw. This person likes to talk about their shit. They don't keep very good secrets. How are you going to be a criminal and not be able to keep secrets? How are you going to be a criminal and do criminal shit and not be able to keep secrets, period, okay? But I feel like whoever this investigator is, they already know the team. I'm hearing that song Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash right now. Okay, yeah, this person is shattered because they know that they have completely destroyed their life. This woman has fucked up, okay? This woman has fucked up completely is what I'm hearing. She's just literally lit fire to her whole life trying to burn your shit down and burn your shit up. That's fucking wild, huh? That is crazy. And I feel like she doesn't want to hear it. One of those, say it ain't so. No, I don't believe it. Like, nothing's messed up in my life. I didn't do this. They did this. It's like, literally, this woman is still sitting here and refuses to take accountability for the shit she, she has done and is doing to you. Thank you, spirit. But she's being investigated. She's being listened to, too. Just like she wanted you to be listened to, she's being listened to, too. Because apparently it didn't occur to her that at some point this investigation or whatever this is could have been turned around on her and then someone would have been watching her and listening to her. Thank you guys for the gifts. I appreciate you. And whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the police. She was shook. This bitch is about to be shook. I'm telling you right now, somebody could get caught with drugs on them as well. Pills, to be exact, okay, is what I'm hearing. 
But it's like this person had like this delusional ass fantasy that they were going to just be able to take everything from you, take you down, put you in jail, kill you, whatever it may be. And they were just going to go on about their merry way with all your shit, with all your blessings and somehow all your gifts, like your natural God given gifts. That's not the way it is. That's not the way it is. Confirmation on that. But it's like whoever you are, like you stood in your power. You were putting on a fucking show. I'm hearing that song, Be Careful of Me by Cardi B. Like this person definitely wasn't cautious about what she was doing to you. And she should have been careful of, of you because whoever you are, like you're a badass. You're a warrior is what I'm hearing, okay? Yeah, and this person is nothing but toxic. They could have been having somebody do sex magic on you as well. Or they could have been doing this to you either way. This could be somebody's ex-girlfriend as well. If you're a masculine, this could be your ex-girlfriend is what I'm hearing as well, okay? But yeah, I feel like this person's constantly up in your energy. Constantly up in your energy trying to figure out how to take you down, what to do, what's next. Trying to make you go bankrupt. You're not going to go bankrupt. Trying to make you look like, uh, I'm hearing the green-eyed want monster. Monster? <laughs> The green-eyed monster, like this person's a freaking green-eyed monster, let's be real. So someone could have green eyes here, and I feel like this person needs to figure out, for somebody, this is like your ex-girlfriend or like your ex-friend, this bitch needs to figure out how to keep her peanut butter legs closed. She's got motherfucking peanut butter legs. This bitch would sleep with anything and everything. Like, bro, she if she had a winky, she would F a freaking uh, open soda can, sweetheart, whoever this person is. She would straight up F a Coke can, like dead ass. Like, just give her a winky and watch this bitch work for real. Uh, dude, like the energy on this person. She could have, like, some type of stank, too. Like, some type of, like, musty, crusty ass stank. But it's like spirit setting the record straight on this person. <laughs> Yeah, this is someone who does not use protection for uh, whoever for whoever that applied to. But I feel like this person does nothing but make bad choices, and then they wonder why everybody kicks them to the curb. Okay, why everybody kicks them to the curb. It's like this person needs to figure out how to fucking check herself because she has dead ass wrecked herself. The game is over, sweetheart. For whoever this is, like while she's over here still playing in your fucking behind your back, because God forbid this woman will not play in your face. Because confirmation because she knows damn well that like you are not a person to be fucked with so this person just sits in the background with her bipolar ass with her multiple personality ass sitting over here talking hella shit and trying to turn everybody against you like you fucking care because you don't fucking care you really truly don't and it's like this woman's getting mad for somebody this woman's in here right now she's getting mad as fuck because people are are telling everybody else that she's trash I feel like I'm probably not the first one to say some shit about this bitch. But I'm telling you right now, like, everybody's finding out this woman's trash. Throw that whole coochie in the garbage is what I'm hearing. Throw that whole coochie in the garbage, okay? Like, this woman is, like, burnt. Freaking burnt. Like, someone smells like fucking sulfur is what I'm hearing, okay? Someone smells like fucking sulfur. Like, literally, like, rotten eggs and then, like, has, like, a fishy-ass smell to her as well. But it's like, this person knows that she fucked up. Yeah, she got some type of STD. That's why she smells like that. I feel like the, the fish smell is from the STD. The sulfur is just because she's like a straight Satan child. Point blank period, okay? Damn, this, this person's like obsessed with sex, okay? But yeah, here comes the action for this person. They wanted to cause drama and now they're fucking getting caught. Now this person's getting caught and they wanted to play you. And look at this person over here. Now they're getting fucking played. But you can sit back and enjoy the show because, I mean, this person thought it was funny to sit back and gossip about you. They really truly did. They thought it was funny to watch your downfall, to watch everybody turn against you. But now it's not going to be so funny when it's them. Because I'm definitely hearing that there's a lot of people that are going to be laughing at this woman. They're going to be laughing at this woman because um, she's stinky and rumors are going to go ar go around about it. I'm getting that same energy. Remember when I, I don't know who is in that reading, but this was like maybe a week ago. I was talking about how some man went to lay down with her or whatever. And then um, she like opened her legs and he was like, oh, fuck nah. And he like got out of there like because it stunk so bad. But I'm like referring back to that. So so this could be about that woman as well. But I'm definitely hearing something about like. 
her trying to lay down in the second she she peanut butter legged that shit he said oh hell motherfucking no and then he went and told people about it too like he went around legitimately telling people like bro this bitch right here she fucking stinks is what I'm hearing okay like so this could definitely tie into that reading because like dude dude went around telling everybody he was like he went straight bed intruders on that girl hide your kids hide your wife and hide your husband cause she's stinking everything up out here like I'm hearing some shit like that okay like they were like no you need to stay the fuck away from that for real is what i'm t what i'm freaking saying oh my god like i cannot even hide your kids hide your wife and hide your husband because she's stinking that bedroom up for real i don't know how this man didn't smell that before i feel like this woman could be like bi too like for somebody she goes both ways she likes men and women she likes men and women okay for somebody Hold on, let me block this person. Okay, smartass. While you're over here trying to be a straight idiot in the chat. Fucking smartass. Sorry, you guys. Y'all karmics are so fucking whack, bro. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> y'all are so whack, bro. Come up in here talking to your little... Like, y'all think you're funny as shit. Like... Like, what what was so funny about that? Like, half the shit y'all say that's mean is not even fucking funny. Like, I don't understand that. If you're gonna roast me, please be funny because, like, I can have a little bit of respect for you if you're gonna come up here and be disrespectful and, like, you're actually funny. But, like, if you can't even be funny, like, please hold your, your whack-ass comments to your motherfucking self, please. Like, let's just be real. All right, can I get some, like, states or something? Can we pinpoint? Someone could be in Tennessee. What else, Spirit? Can I get a couple more states? And, of course, the states I said earlier apply as well. Yeah, I knew that was going to come up. So, Washington. I don't feel like Washington, D.C., but I feel like Washington, yeah. Y'all. Okay, Washington. Just in Washington, not necessarily Washington, D.C., okay? Utah. Argentina could be significant or someone could be Argentine Argentinian. I don't know how you say that. Excuse me if I butchered it. California, like I thought, okay. Mississippi. The Jacksonville, Florida Panthers could be significant to somebody. Dallas Cowboys. I'm also seeing like the Seahawks as well. Wyoming. New Jersey. South Dakota. Kentucky, Michigan, New Hampshire, Indiana, Delaware, and then South Dakota again. So definitely heavy confirmation on South Dakota as well. And then the other states I said earlier, I'm also hearing Oklahoma or Indiana. I think that just came out, didn't it? Maybe it didn't, but I'm hearing Indiana right now as well. Hold on, let me blow. Bro, y'all need to be funny if you're going to talk shit. Come on now. I mean, if you can't be funny, give it up. Give it up, boo-boo, for real. That was not funny at all. Just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. Oh, shit, dude. I'm telling you every mother freaking time, dude. I'm telling you every freaking time. Those are, like, those are just states that, that are prominent as well. Doesn't mean that, that, that this message doesn't apply to you. Just saying, okay. Um, also, before I go, does anybody want to do yes or no questions? Um, if you guys want to do yes or no questions, you can uh, cash out me $8. Or you can... Um, Sorry. Or you can, uh, hail. Sorry. <laughs> or you can, um, send a galaxy through here either way. So if you guys want to do yes or no questions is something, you can send a galaxy on here. Or you can, um, send $8 to my cash app. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. 
anytime. That's what I'm here for. Just to confirm shit y'all already know. Half of y'all, it's to confirm shit that you guys already know. The other half is like to fill in missing pieces. Thank you, Aries, for your subscription. Um, some of y'all, it's to like fill in the mini, the missing pieces. For others of y'all, it's just to like wake you up about shit that you're not, um, you're not aware of. Of course. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate the bracelets. Where did I get the cards with the states on them? Those are children's flashcards. They're children's flashcards, girl. Tell you right now. Smush. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for the gifts. I appreciate you. I know, right? Like, I just was like, you know what? I don't want to write all that shit out. So I did chil children's flashcards. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the gifts. Thank you. I know, like, I never get Delaware. Like, barely ever in these readings. All good. I'm glad I could do that for you. Thank you, guys, for the gifts. I appreciate you. You're awesome. You guys rock. Right, exactly. Well, and that's what it's all about is like just connecting the dots and, and figuring out what's going on in your life. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Jen. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the hand heart. Oh, you're new? Okay. Well, welcome in. Welcome in. Also, you guys, don't forget to get your subscriptions to my channels, okay? Don't forget to subscribe. No, this this is like point blank period. I'm I'm picking up on a woman. Like normally, yes, it could be either or, but this is a woman, whether it be somebody's mother, whether it be someone's mother in law, whether it be your stepmother, whether it be a homegirl, a sister, a cousin, um, does not matter. But it is like this reading was about a woman, point blank period, like a woman in your life. This was very gender specific because I could literally see um I could literally see uh, a woman. I could see multiple different women, actually, as I was doing this. Of course, no problem. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Yes, somebody could have green eyes. I've seen somebody with green eyes. If you guys want yes or no questions, you can either send a Galaxy through here or Cash App, to like $8 to my Cash App. That sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, for a lot of us divine beings, it's multiple people. I wouldn't be, honestly. God's got you. As divine beings, like, there, there's... It's really out of your control, you know what I'm saying? Like, it really truly is. There's nothing to really worry about, though. Awesome. I'll try to repost this on my YouTube too. Right? Exactly. Close the damn door for good, for sure. Thank you. I appreciate that. I feel like God always leads the right people to me. Thank you for the rose. I appreciate you. Yeah, it was about the karmic. Thank you, Queenie. You too. Thank you for the roses. I appreciate you. Anybody want to do yes or no questions? $8 cash app or a galaxy. If you send me a galaxy on here, I'll do a yes or no question for you. You just woke up. Nice. I see you guys asking questions, but I don't see you listening to what I'm telling you. <laughs> if you want your questions answered, you can either send $8 to my cash app or you can send a galaxy on here. It's the, if you do it, it's like a money sign, sunny divinity 007 is how you look at it. But yeah, not with an H. My name is not spelled with an H. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about doing another one tonight. 
I was. I was thinking about it because you know what? I've noticed that I haven't, like the last couple days, I haven't been um, doing as many um, readings as I usually do. I'm usually up on here like three or four times a day. So my YouTube is Sunnyside Divinity 007. So it's the same as this, but it's Sunnyside instead of just Sunny. If you look on um, on this channel, um, I actually had posted it in one of my little videos. Thank you, Jen. What was your question, hon? Okay, awesome. Awesome. Yes, Empress Empire 7. All right, Jen wants to know if her ex will get an STD. Will Jen's ex get an STD? Will Jen's ex get an STD? Can I get a yes or no, please? No, can I get a yes or no, please? That was not a yes or no. Can I get a yes or no, please, Spirit? Will you get an STD? Yes. So, Jen, your answer was yes. Yes, he will. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that, is, that is, like, legitimately not the answer I, I'd like to pull. But, I mean, yeah, Spirit says yes. Of course. No problem, hon. No problem. Thank you for the galaxy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> See, it's, it's really shitty because these men and these women are out here running around reckless as fuck. Like, not, not going to the doctor, not checking the people that they're messing with, and it's wild as hell, dude, like, the, the shit people get into, because there's other nasty people that don't like to admit that they have some type of STD and shit, it's, it's really... It's horrible. Yes, that's exactly how you spell it, Sunnyside Divinity 007. I've only got, like, 84 followers on there. <laughs> I've actually had that channel longer. I've had that channel for like two years, but it didn't take off as well as this one, so I don't post as much on there. Mike, don't I owe you a yes or no question from yesterday? I'm talking to you, Mike. Mike Hunt, don't I owe you a yes or no question from yesterday? Because you were driving, right? Did you want to do a yes or no question? I owe you one. Oh, did you? Cool. Yeah, I don't post on there as much. You're new on my page? Welcome. Okay. I'll save that one for you. You just let me know. You can message me with it if you want to. You can private message me as well. If you think of one you want to ask. I'm not on Twitter. I've actually never had a Twitter account. What the hell is Twitter? What do you even do on there? Is that like supposed to be like a Facebook or something? Okay, Dominique, what was your question, hun? Thank you for the roses, hun. I appreciate you. That was heck loud, huh? <laughs> it's for gossip. I've never had a Twitter account. That's wild. Thank you, Priscilla. I appreciate that. Okay. Dominique wants to know if she's going to find out the truth about her husband's secrets. Dominique gonna find out the truth about her husband's secrets is Dominique gonna find out the truth about her husband's secrets can I get a yes or no please spirit so this was upside down absolutely not was upside down so I'm gonna say that's a yes also, Spirit's advice is listen to the quietest person in the room. So, like, the person, 
around this ex-husband that's saying the least probably knows the most is what I'm hearing, okay? But I'm going to say, like, because it came out absolutely not in the reverse, so that's telling me, yes, you are going to find out. Yes, you are. But if you're looking for specifics, the, the quietest person in the room that's attached to your ex-husband or your husband or whoever um, is the one who knows the most. Where can you find a galaxy? A galaxy? So, um, dang it. Can someone tell her where to find a galaxy? I always freaking forget. If you go in the gifts, it's like, what, does somebody say it was like on the, on the bottom left or the top left or something like that? The present below. Of course, no problem. But yeah, you will find out. Row nine. Row nine is what Mike said. Thank you, Mike. Bottom right. <laughs> I was all bottom left. Oop. It's pink gift. Oh, yeah. This is fun. <laughs> I like to I like to sit here and talk every once in a while, too. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. I appreciate that. No, this is fun. My, my chat's always fun. I always got I always got a couple little jokes here and there too. Some of my readings are more funny than the other ones, I'm not gonna lie. Cause sometimes I just get in that joke mode and it is like top tier. It is the best. Those are my favorites. Something about myself. Okay, Gracie, what's your question, hun? When am I going to sing? Oh, I'm working on I'm working up the courage. One of these days. One of these days. I'm just going to pop out and surprise y'all with that one. You know what I'm saying? One of the pinned, um, one of the pinned videos on my page is, um, is definitely, uh, a singing video. Are you going to, is Gracie going to be okay with her kidney and liver? Is Gracie going to be okay with her kidneys and liver? Yes. Yes, you are. Just in case you didn't see it, sorry, I pulled that away super quick. So, yes, you are going to be okay, honey. It is. It's the one that says this Christmas on there. I have, like, one where it doesn't show my face either. Thank you for the tiny diny. Um, it doesn't show my face, but you can hear me singing a Rihanna song on there. Right, I'm all right. I'm all good news because I hate being. I legit. I love this job, but I hate being the bearer of bad news. I am gonna tell you that. I don't like to be the bad news bear. Okay, it is not fun for me at all. It's pretty legit. Like it's pretty legit. I'm not gonna lie. I need to like. I need to find somebody that like knows how to do. Um, knows how to show me how to like do the little producer boards and like the little sound boards and stuff like that because I want to make my own music that would be legit yeah sometimes the bad news does give us closure it does I want to find somebody who can teach me how to like work all those systems exactly I agree I agree Thank you for the galaxy. What's your question, hon?
what was your question, best one? Me too. Amen to that. I would I would as well. Sorry, I had to grab my charger, you guys. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, it's hot in here. My room always gets hella hot when I do these readings. It's wild. Did you have a question, best one? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. I can't see it. That's so weird. Huh. No, I can't see your question. So did you not have a question? Because you're all, that's a yes. Was that just to, to do a galaxy? If so, thank you. I appreciate it. But if not, I just want to make sure I answer your question. Oh, that's so weird. Do you want to you want to message me on here and when I get off I'll I'll uh, send you your yes or no answer then cuz that's so weird like I can't I can't see your no I can't see it. I cannot see your question. I can see all these other ones that you're messaging but I'm not seeing your question at all. Okay, that works. And then when I get off live, I'll send you your yes or no. For anybody else, if you want, if you want a yes or no question, um, for people that are coming in, uh, give me or send me Cash App. Okay, eight dollars on Cash App, or you can send me a Galaxy. I know, right? Spirit apparently doesn't want it like blasted on here. You're good. You're good. We we just finished a whole reading. You're totally good. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. Just saw your crush with another female. That sucks. Thank you for the heart. I appreciate you. That totally sucks. That's always like horrible. Right? Straight up hugs for real. That always sucks. I don't care who you are. That that blows. Not literally, but... <laughs> well, not literally. I'm over here trying crack jokes. That sucks, though. <laughs> Dude, I can't... I'm telling you, bro. Like, I'm in one of those, uh, those joke modes. I got other crushes. That was just my favorite. Ooh, shit. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. You did not... <laughs> I got other crushes. That was just my favorite. That was just numero uno right there. That was the main one. Oh my lord. I'm done right now. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Yo, I'm sad, but I still got prospects for real. It's all good though. Hopefully number two looks just as good or is just as cool. I don't know. Right? Then again, I don't know how many number one is up against. Who? How, I don't know how many of your, the, your favorites up against. So I mean, <sighs> hey, 
Hey, everybody coming in. It does happen for a reason, for sure. I feel like everything happens for a reason. For sure. Sometimes some things don't work out, so better things can come in. You know what I'm saying? Which is super cool. Does anybody else want to do the, the $8 cash apps or the uh, Galaxy for questions, yes or no's? Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Riot number two might be the better choice. Riot, maybe you'll meet a new number one. Or maybe number two will become number one. Or maybe your number one will be cooler than all the other numbers. Like, you just you just never know. I'm, I'm telling you right now. See, look at that. Oh, yes. <laughs> This card just fell out of the deck. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Spirit be playing games right now. Yup. Yup, you're on point. <laughs> it did. It just straight fell out of the deck and I looked at it and I was like, I know the fuck you did not, Spirit. Yup. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I can't even... Thank you for the roses, George. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Alright, you guys. Well, I'm going to get off here for now, but I will try to do a reading later tonight. Um, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for... You can say bye real quick. Thank you for the um, gifts, the cash apps, bye. for the likes, for the follows. And then my daughter wants to say bye. Bye. Hope you have a great day. Say so bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> but, yeah, we will see you guys later, okay? Um, I'm going to try to get on later tonight, but if I don't, I will be on tomorrow, okay? Thank well, you guys for everything. I appreciate you. you. Someone, and thank you for being um, here. If you talk about someone um, and they're bad, 